Today we're going to be talking about route planning using Google Maps. Now, I I don't want to start a big conversation here, but I know some people call it a route. Other people call it a route. I call it a route. So it's route planning using Google Maps. And the genesis of this particular video came from an earlier video we released on Google Maps in which I was asked over and over again if you can use Google Maps to plan and organize multiple stops and to find the most efficient way to go on a route or a route. So that's what we're going to be looking at today, using Google Maps for route planning on Dottotech. Steve Dotter here. How the heck you doing this fine day? And as I mentioned, we are going to be looking at route planning using Google Maps today. And there's good news and bad news for those of you who are interested in using Google Maps to help plan a plan a trip with multiple stops. Uh, and regardless if this is a cross-country trip or just a trip around your neighborhood, you can use Google Maps very efficiently for it. What Google Maps doesn't do, which a lot of people are hoping it would do, is optimize it, giving you the shortest or most efficient route. That is not a part of Google Maps, although I suspect at some point they, that's something that they would probably add. Planning a route with Google Maps is as easy as can be. Uh, let's go from the desktop, and then what we'll do is we'll migrate the map into onto our mobile device, uh, which is the way I think a lot of people do it. You're sitting down, you're planning out your day, you have all of these stops to do. This is how you go about doing it. Open Google Maps on your desktop, and there, if you click on the Directions button, which will open up a little dialog, which will allow you to put in starting and finishing points to get directions, and we've all done this before. I noticed that there's a new addition. I don't know if this is just something new for me, uh, but now I'm seeing a notification of, in my area, of immediate uh, issues that are happening in traffic, traffic slowdowns, or places where there's heavy traffic and congestion in my in my in the area of the map that I'm currently showing. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, just a, a complete aside. Let's get to planning a route. So what you do is you put in your starting point, and I'm going to put in a, a landmark here in BC, BC Place. Uh, which is our, our pavilion, our, our stadium downtown Vancouver. And I'm going to say from downtown Vancouver, we've got a lot of places that we have to go. We have to go from downtown Vancouver all the way out to Burnaby, which is another community, to a mall. I'm just going to put down several different places. Here we go. Metro Town. And then we're going to add another destination. So we have the, 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 the plan on getting there, the most effect, effective way to get there. We're going to add another destination. We'll put in UBC, our, our university, which is way back down in downtown Vancouver. And then let's go to another whole community. Let's go to, oh, let's get some fish and chips. The best fish and chips that I know, Pajo's Fish and Chips on Steveston which is just it's near Richmond. There it is. So we've got this, this route now that we want to follow, which, uh, and let's add one more destination. Let's add one more destination just to be on the safe side. Let's add something. Let's go into North Vancouver. Let's, uh, what, what can I put down there? Let's put down Park Royal, another mall. Here we go, West Vancouver. Okay, so this is a lot. If, if we just were to drive following this path, uh, going from BC Place to Metro Town to the University of British Columbia would take us two hours and nine minutes. Oh, just a pain in the butt. And you can see that we're crisscrossing back and forth. Now, it would be nice if Google Maps would optimize this for us, would it not? And I, as I say, I hope someday they will. The reason that I'm hopeful that at some point Google will optimize this to give us the most efficient route is now when they're giving us maps, they're often telling us the most eco-friendly or the most carbon neutral friendly route that we can take if we have multiple options, even though it might take us three minutes longer to get to a location but we use less gas to get there, uh, then they're they're giving us those options. So Google is looking at efficiencies always with Google Maps. So I'm hoping that we'll have that we'll have optimization coming in the not too distant future. But you can just play with it very quickly yourself and it, because it's nice. You see, each one of these has the ability for us to be able to just grab it and to be able to drag it to reorder. You see that? So if we say instead of that, we've got we've taken it down to two hours. Is that more or less? Two hours and 15 minutes, and maybe we go straight to Pajos first, and we head out for fish and chips first, and uh, or we can make that last. So you can see that it changes the routing pretty dramatically if we do each of these things. Now, one of the things that happens as well is we can add other options. So you see this particular option here, which we have, is I know that at this point here, we're actually on the highway. There's a, we were on city streets for almost everything, but if you go down here into options, you can set different criteria. If you have, if, if say you want to avoid, if you don't like driving on highways or there's a lot of toll routes in your area, you can turn those off and you see how the route changes. If we leave highways on, it takes us uh, two hours and 16 minutes with highways off. 
it takes us two hours and 12 minutes. We save four minutes by using the highway. But if you don't feel comfortable or you don't want to use the highway, you can ask it to do this kind of optimization here, which is a step towards the type of optimization that we all hope will be in place. Now, of course, these maps are only useful if we have them with us when we're actually traveling. So we need to send it to our device, our navigation device, which in most cases is going to be our smartphone. And if we look here, right here in the directions menu, we have the ability to send directions to your phone. This is where the Google ecosystem comes together. If you're logged in in Gmail on your phone, or if you're logged in to your Google account on your phone, when you go to send directions to your phone, you'll have the option to email it, to text it, or to send it directly, to send this entire map, this entire route directly to our phone. We click that and you see right away on the phone that we get the directions that, that of the map that we we're just talking about. It'll load in and look here at the very top of the screen. Isn't this great? If I tap on that, we have the same directions that we put in. Now we could have created this map on the smartphone, but I personally find it a lot easier to kind of work my way through these kind of puzzles on the desktop computer first and then send it to the phone. But if we need to reorganize things again here, if we want to optimize our route ourselves, or something comes up where we need to change our plans for the day, we can take and just by clicking on the little three lines, we can slide one uh, one of the appointments down. And then of course that changes the entire routing. But what I'm seeing there, those little red and orange spots, those are places where traffic is slowing down and I can expect congestion. We've got the map now on our smartphone that we were able to compose on the desktop. And this would work, as I say, for a route right across the country or just running your errands for the day. So that is how you can set up routing within Google Maps and send it to your smartphone. Now, if you've got a better way or a unique way of using Google Maps to plan your routes, please share it with me in the comments. Always love to hear what you have to say. That's all the time we have for today's video. If you found today's video to be useful, a like and a share as well as a subscribe is always greatly appreciated. Now, before we leave one last little tip, Every week here at Dotto Tech, we host a weekly free tutorial webinar called Webinar Wednesday, where we talk about some, pro uh, some productivity or content creation topic. Uh, as I say, they're absolutely free and you are now officially invited. The links are right here. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.